What did I know about war? I was 17 years old. I joined up for the same reason as everyone else. For the king and the empire. To do my bit. They said it had been an adventure. It was the right thing to do. My brother Bevan and I signed up to fight Germans. But here I was, in a little boat, about to invade a country I'd never heard of. Now, at dawn on that first day, the king the Empire, and doing the right thing seemed a long way off. Oh, Mary, poor Grace, what as we think. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Oh, come on, put a sock in it. Pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Steady, steady. Bezna, <laughs> against orders, they, they said bayonets only. Shut up, talk. told to move inland and march on Constantinople. There was no slaughter on the beach. Just scattered Turkish sentries firing down on us. All you men keep coming, let's go on through here. Sergeant? It's going well, Captain Taylor. At least we're moving forward. That high ground up there, that's the objective. Right, sir, keep moving forward, let's go, come on. Move, move, move. It was in the hills beyond the beach where it all began. This was bastard country. Not the sort of place an army would invade on purpose. But what did I know? Oh, <laughs> 
Allah. Allah. Allah ümme. Şehide. Şehide. Ma. Şehide. General Hamilton? Braith. Sir, the Australians have landed and are on the move. Excellent. We'll be able to see what they're capable of. The first blow is half the battle, Braithwaite. Don't forget that. They're waiting for you inside, General. History, Braith. We're about to write it. The Greeks and Trojans will be here forever, and now it's our turn. Yes.
Is he done? Who wants to go back down to the beach for a swim? That's an idea. Should we take a vote? Yeah, all right. All those in favour of going back down to the beach for a swim, say aye. Aye. aye. <laughs> all right. It's so unanimous then. Then we're ready. Yeah. Mr. Tully, we've got news. Bevan signed up for the war. Your brother's going to be a soldier. Aren't you proud? We know if Birdwood's still doing well with the Anzac Gavatepe, what do we have in on that? The landing up there was highly successful, sir. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Things look fine from out on deck, but this is two hours ago. Last report, the Australians and New Zealanders were moving inland. Excellent. Now, down south here with Hunter Weston, do we know what's happening? Looks like a damn mess out there to me. He's on board the Euralis, sir. We've no way of knowing. Well, this can't continue. I don't want the Hampshire Regiment wiped out completely. The Munster Fusiliers, I want them off V Beach and relanded on Y Beach. Sir, is that sound? Should we barge into Hunter Weston's invasion plans? He is executive commander at Cape Hellas. You think I should not force his hand, is that it? That's very well. Damn shame they're having a hellish time of it. Unlike the Colonials, sir. They have the simple matter of marching over that. We're here. We must be. Are you sure? Because I don't think so. This is way off. We're supposed to take 15 minutes to get to here. Well, it's going to take two hours, Captain. If we're lucky. Bloody hopeless. We have to get 
to go back. We retrace our steps. We do that, we're gonna get caught in the middle. We've got us on both sides. There's no other way. Get back to the beach, Sergeant. Report where we're headed. Recruit as many men as stretcher bearers as you can and bring them along down there. I can fight again. Come on, get moving, private move! Terrain's causing a lot of confusion, sir. And the enemy? He has gun batteries and machine guns here, here, and here. We're moving troops to our right to take this ridge. So, if we keep him to our right, we can move up this valley. Are we doing that? I believe some men are moving for the heights, sir. Communications are fragmentary. You believe? We need to know what's happening up there. How are you getting this information? Wounded men, mostly, sir. They are questioned as soon as they arrive on the beach. Wounded? Many of them? Quite a few, I'm afraid. The medical staff are... Well, then, casualties means we've engaged them at least. This is good. By mid-morning, the terrain was doing more damage than the Turks. On all the ridges, hardly anyone was where they should have been. Captain Taylor was doing his best to follow orders, and all we could do was follow him. One section, Turkish position, 100 yards to your front, one round, fire! Where the hell did you come from? Delisso, we're told to move inland. Who's your commanding officer? Lieutenant Cowper, dead. All right, fall in with these men. Come on, lads. So what do we have? Some bad order down there, sir. They seem to focus on the ridge to our right. Orders are just to keep on to occupy the heights. And these men are all they could spare? No, sir. I ran into them on the way up. They were lost. Right, lads, keep moving with me. You signed, didn't you? Mum. Whatever are you thinking? It's always the same. Don't do this to me, Tolly. You... Mum, please. No. Mum, Mum. Damn you, Tolly! Damn you! No! No! Stop! Stop!
retreating. Means their reinforcements haven't arrived yet. We have to secure that hill before they get here. Bloody good. Oh, they're scared. We've got to on the run. Give them a breather, then we'll proceed. Is she good, Joshua? Come, Tanya. Dish my life. Geliyor. Düşmandan kaçılmaz. Savunacaksınız. Komutanım, cephanımız kalmadı. Cephaniniz yoksa süngünüz var. Süngü tak. Geri yat. Geri yatın. Düşmanı durduracaksınız. İhtiyacımız olan zamanı böyle kazan. The further we got up the heights, the more it felt like war. A lot of blokes were dead. The Turks were above us. I could hear other Anzacs not too far away, on the ridges to the east. No one knew how this was going to end. Lie down. Senior officers. Means those reinforcements aren't far off. That's the hill we want. Have the men in trench here as quickly as possible. Sir. You could recognize this hill on a map? I think so, yep. We're obviously way forward of everyone else. Get back down to the beach again, on the double. Tell them we need urgent reinforcements. Okay, one section, go over to your right. Start entrenching. Two section over to your left and start digging. Ammunition's on its way up. And water. And water, get digging! You four, with me. I'd only been a fighting soldier for five hours. But it felt like a mess to me. Senior officer. Three hundred yards. Who can take the shot? I couldn't get him from here, Tolly. Sir. Back again, Sergeant. This is hardly your role. Why aren't you using runners? Captain Taylor's decided we have more certainty this way, sir. 
Well done, Sergeant. You thought you could run faster, is that it? That's right, sir. Well, come on. My eye. From the beach to this point, this is the dead end I pointed out last time. So Captain Taylor has moved from down here up to this hill where he's digging in. Who's he with? How many companies? It's hard to say, sir. We lost men to the scrub in the valleys. The company structure's broken down, so we've just been collecting men the best we can. What's the size of Taylor's force, then? It's about 60 men. 60? Be damned. We need to get more men up there. Right, get back there immediately. We send whatever we can, but tell him he must hold that position. Yes, sir. 60 men. It puts our troubles to the right in perspective. Those heights are critical. Now we're there, we must hold on. Check that munition and report back to me! You think we scared him, sir? No. He wants to do us one hill at a time. Charles Bean? Yes. I watched the landing. It's a little far north. Well, wherever it is, sir, it's all we've got. Uh, and to present myself to General Bridges. I believe he's here somewhere, sir. What do you mean somewhere? Aren't you the landing officer? Someone said he's gone down past the beach to check on communications, but I can't confirm that. You're on your own, I'm afraid, sir. Where's Mr. Bartlett? I was told to expect two reporters. Uh, he's still on a ship. He'll be coming later. Is this all your luggage? Of course. I'll have your man collected. This way, sir. Bartlett. <laughs> My God. Donald. Only a damn lieutenant. I have to have a chat with the Admiral. And only a reporter. Where's the novel? Far too busy to write a novel, Donald. Bumped into a chap looking for you with this from London. Ah. Yes, yeah, about time. I hope it's good news. Under no circumstance. Damn. What? Expenses. I wanted to rent a yacht. Sail it up and down the coast. Kitted out with some cell, of course. Chef. Or two. Fine idea, don't you think? And they knocked you back. Kel surprise. Mm. Shouldn't you be ashore then? 
I was here three years ago. With the Turks when the Bulgarians chased them out of Europe. Collar and trap. Devastating combination. Spent some time in Constantinople. Now I got my palm read by a fortune teller. And? Apparently I'm all but invincible. I could have told her that. You all right, son? Hey, where are you off to? You all right? I don't know. Where's your weapon? I don't know. You're wounded. Are you wounded? No. All right. You grab that weapon there and you follow me. Do you understand? Look at me, lad. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah? All right, let's go. Soldiers in the army together. I never thought I'd be in a war. Me too. This isn't what I figured. What'd you figure? I don't know. Didn't think I'd be killing blokes trying to surrender. They did the same, bastards. I'll look after you, bud. Yeah, I know. You're gonna be my best man. I'll find Cliffy. Would you like to see him? Oh, back up the hill. He's right with us. He'll be here somewhere. No, he's gone. Some of that into you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, what's the news? It's not real good, sir. What have they got in mind, Sergeant? We're gonna hold that hill. Think about it, Tolly. He'll turn up, you know what he's like. Yeah, what's happening to this fella? It's 
Got a mark on him. Strange. Some kind of blast injury or something. Maybe not. Why is he dead? Who knows, Tom? It's his turn. Grab his arms. Come on. Stop thinking about Cliffy. Come on. I couldn't. Me and Cliffy were mates. He was a simple bloke. And some of the others made fun of him, but he always looked out for me. Dave came to the war from a university. He knew a lot of stuff I didn't. He was a smart bloke, so I tried hard to believe him. My brother Bevan was like a bull at a gate. Oi, you blacks. You seen Cliffy Sutton? Hey, you, huh? Sure. He just wanted to fix things, even if he didn't know how. Reinforcements, and they're white. Don't salute me, you idiot. You want me to get shot? Where are the rest of your men? Sir? And the ammunition, where's the ammunition? I wasn't told anything of ammunition, sir. We're nearly out. Your orders were to resupply us. My, my orders were to move inland, sir. Move inland? And do bloody what? Isn't anyone thinking? How are we expected to take? Sergeant! What, sir? And water. What, sir? The Turks will have more reinforcements on the way. I'll have to move now with what I've got. Get your men into the line. Stand left. All right, Abdul. Move it! We know you can take a hill. Let's see how good you are at keeping one. in the timing. Who gets here first? That damn Turk up there or Percival and his ammunition.
Why are you stretching me sitting down? I'm here exhausted, Sarge. I just got back from up in the hills. On your feet if you don't mind, gents. Son, have a look where I'm pointing. I need you to make your way up along this main valley. Yes, all the way to the top and on the left. You see where I'm pointing? Do you understand? Go. Give it to him, Sarge. We should take a look at that shoulder of yours. Do that later. Have some water, son. Thanks, Cobber. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to Constance and Opal, mate. Hunter Weston's men are sure consolidating. Birdwood and his Anzacs in the hills, gentlemen. <laughs> it's the Balkans all over. The Turk doesn't know what's hit him. <laughs> he has more at his disposal this time, though, sir. Hardly matters at all. He's not a good fighter. Never has been. No, indeed. Strange, the enemy. Phantom till you look him in the eyes. The evil. Man on the stair. On the stair? <laughs> As I was going up the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. Oh, how I wish he'd go away. Go away indeed. The heights today, Constantinople tomorrow, eh? Well, hardly, sir. Hyperbole, Bray. One must learn to think beyond the obvious. The obvious is what we have before us, General. Perhaps it's best to deal with that first. Yes, of course. Everything in its proper place. By God, I'll box his ears. Benimle beraber burada savaşan her asker bilmelidir ki bize verilen bu namus görevini tam olarak yerine getirmek için bir adım geri gitmek yoktur. Uyku ve istirahat ararsanız bu istirahat bütün milletimizin istirahatten ebediyen mahrum kalmasına sebep olacaktır. Ben size taarruz emretmiyorum, ölmeyi emretiyorum. Biz ölünceye kadar geçecek zaman zarfında yerimize başka kuvvetler ve kumandanlar geçebilir. Düşmanı denize dökene kadar devam etmeliyiz. Flanks tied in. Yes, sir. How many rounds per man? Yeah, Twenty, sir. Twenty, sir. Doesn't look good. What? Well, look at him. He's going to win the war by himself. What do you mean? He's a good soldier, Dave. He knows what he's doing. No one on this hill knows what they're doing, Bev, if you haven't noticed. He's gonna get us all killed. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> well, he's enjoying it a little too much for my liking. No one's enjoying it, Dave. You reckon? Munition, sir. At last. 
This should be to all the men immediately. Oh. Hey, Cobbers. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What are you doing? I'm winning the war, mate. What happened to you? The bullet. It went in here. And it come out here. <laughs> I never felt a thing. Quite nice, actually. I went down the beach. I even had a swim. No, you didn't. I bloody did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I wish I did, but... So what have you blokes been doing? You're sitting on your bony ass by the looks. What's wrong, little toll? You all right? Hey, you okay? <laughs> you all right? You haven't got any camel dung? <laughs> no? Order the man to stand too. We're going back up there. We're running out of time. Sir. You want to go near Merrick? Have a look where they are. Or maybe we should just hold the wall. You buggered Percival. I'm going to shoot that bloody Turk. Welcome, sir. Gentlemen, Commander sends his compliments. We know the situation on the right, but what we need to know is exactly what's happening up that valley. It's confused at the moment, sir. Has anyone gone up to have a proper look? It's in hand, sir. So it should be. The problem is, we don't know with any precision what's happening on our own front. We're hemmed in on the right. So, gentlemen, what we need is a breakout. I'm sure you can find a solution. Are these happy enough? I don't know why. And you shouldn't be leaving. General Bird with sir. Godly, thank you so much. Thank you. All the very best to you. You too, sir.
You said we'd lost that hill. We did, sir, but we retook it. A third time? No, sir, that'd be the fourth time. Good. We've lost it again. Now the tourists have got control here, here, and here, and they still hold the heights. Right. Damn. So what's Taylor proposing? Captain Taylor was shot, sir, just before our last occupation on this hill here. So who are you reporting to, Sergeant? Lieutenant Chandler, sir. A lieutenant? What? Sir, a lot of the officers are gone. The snipers know their insignia. So, do you think he can hold? Probably not, sir. Well, this is your story too, Freya. It is, sir. We couldn't hold. They had overwhelming force. Sir. That is all, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Broken line, no artillery, little communication, severe casualties. Birdwood needs to know this. No. We need Birdwood back here. be as bucket as we are. They're probably not, you know. I don't figure they're winning. No, oh, makes a difference. Yeah. You have a look at this. Gonna bloody rain now. Taught, thou shalt not kill. But once you start, everything you've been taught to believe just disappears. No large batteries out there yet. It seems they're not fully prepared. They'll have them there soon enough, John. And they'll open up on you, no doubt. And so will I, sir. So will I. <laughs> Hunter Weston will have to make another push early. Quite. He needs to get off those damn beaches. That's what he needs to do now. 
Now, I'm not sure about early. Weston's a, a strictly a protocol man. He'll attack at 10 or so at civilized time. I rather think the Turks will be ready for him by then. But that's no matter. He knows what he's doing. He's kept himself on the Uralis, Bray? Yes. He hasn't gone ashore? No, sir. Perhaps he ought to. Birdwood's on his way ashore a second time with his Anzacs. Now, I applaud that. Birdie puts himself in the thick of it. And is it all going well for him? Well, I'm presuming so, John, in the absence of anything to the contrary. Thank you, Peterson. General Birdwood, thanks for coming back, sir. We're getting some pretty uncomfortable reports from the hills. Yes. A right flank. It's not good. We're pinned down there, can't advance. And we've lost the heights. The officers are advising withdrawal. Are they? And what do you recommend? It galls me to say it, sir, but our position's critical. We can't break out. Godly, the men are exhausted, sir. Unfortunately, we have to abandon this altogether. We won't be able to hold if the Turks attack in the morning. Which they will, no bloody doubt. Walker? I disagree, fully. We've established a line. We've landed 15,000 men and they fought well. They might have, Walker, but that's academic. We don't have the strength or position to repel them in the morning when they come. Who's to say? I'm saying, damn it. With respect, your saying means nothing. What counts is the ability of our men up there. I beg your pardon? You're wrong, Bill. Let me remind you, Walker, of my seniority. I'm recommending disembarkation, and if you've so many... Enough, gentlemen. Please. I agree with Walker. They've come this far. I don't want to withdraw on principle. Sir, hey, if I could just... However, I'll advise the commander of your concerns. Mr. Ashmead Bartlett. Yes. Welcome. We thought we'd see you earlier. Yeah, I've been busy watching from offshore. Not as busy as you lot, I see. Charles Bean's here, is he? He arrived earlier today, sir, but he's gone off the beach. Now, I have the press corps tents down there. No, no, no, it won't be necessary. I'm just here for a first look and then back off to the ship. Fine, right, sir. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Excuse me. Why haven't these men been evacuated? Well, the hospital ships are all full, sir. We've been told there's no chance till sometime tomorrow. Tomorrow? And have you been told by what miracle more ships will suddenly appear? No, sir. Because there aren't any? I probably figured that, sir. Damn shame. How do you do, General? How do you do, Bartlett? How did you come ashore?
take your boat back and deliver this. It's of the utmost priority. Certainly, sir. So, where are we headed, sir? I'm not sure. Let's get back to the Queen. We've got to disembark these poor sons. Thank you, Bartlett. How are things at the end exit, Gabba Tepe? Well, um, I'm not privy to the details, sir, but... Yes? Well, if you're asking me, preparation time, troop numbers, Hamilton needs more of both if this is going to be a success. A general Bartlett is like a tenant farmer. He works with what he's been given. Precisely, but my point remains, sir. You're welcome to stay on board tonight. I'll have more boats landing again tomorrow. There is a tomorrow. Right? matter of life and death, sir. You've got to come and settle it. What is it? This from Birdwood. Most serious, but if we are to re-embark, it must be done at once. Re-embark? Bearwood's generals want to abandon the Anzac position altogether. When did you get this? Thirty minutes ago. I've given the order for all boats to stand by to evacuate. Withdraw? It can be done. But it sticks in the craw. Aye. Uh, it does. Thursby. It'll take the best part of three days to get them all off. And where are the Turks? On top of them, sir. Well then, here we are. Two Lieutenant General Birdwood, Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Your news is indeed serious, but there is nothing for you to do but dig right in and stick it out, eh, Braith? Absolutely, sir. It will take at least two days to re-embark you, which Admiral Thursby will explain to you. Down the coast, Hunter Weston, despite his heavy losses, will 
will be advancing tomorrow, which should divert pressure from you. Make a personal appeal to your men and to godlies to make a supreme effort to hold their ground. Signed, Ian Hamilton. P.S. You have got through the difficult business. And now all you have to do is dig, dig, dig. Until you are safe. So, gentlemen, not quite the reply we expected. He's right, of course. To go back is probably more dangerous than to go forward. So it's a fate to complete. Nothing more to be done. Except get this message somehow to the line. You must let the men know that there'll be no falling back. Dig, dig, dig until you are safe. It's a strange order from an OC. Hardly our business, Walker. I don't question the order, Bill. I simply note that it's... Odd. Gentlemen, I remind you, time is running out. The Turks are well advanced. Utilize whatever communications we have. We must start entrenching. Yes, sir. Day one. War is such a blasted business. The first blow is half the battle, sir. Don't forget that. Indeed. Would you like a whiskey, sir? First day was like a dream. 
full of loose ends and misunderstandings. Men who landed on the beach went up into the gullies and ravines of Gallipoli and were never seen again. I'd like to go home now. I'd heard there'd been wars here before. I don't know what it was like for them. It didn't matter much. Tommy! This was our war now. There'd be time to think about the ghosts later. Tommy! I'm all right. I'm all right. dug in on that hill in the dark. On that first day. It was as far as we ever got. <laughs> <laughs> 